Let's welcome Trump 2020 campaign senior advisor, Laura Trump, to the show. Laura, it's great to see you and have you on. Your reaction? Uh, well, it's really kind of sad to see that the media is more concerned with what was in uh, the, with the video itself than actually what was in the video. I mean, what you see in the video is the horrific violence, the, the looting, the uh, arson that we have seen in some of our great American cities. And I just heard Jack Brewer, your previous guest, he was spot on with everything. These Democrat mayors are letting the people of their cities down. And I think we needed to see that video from Jim Jordan. I mean, thank goodness somebody is talking about it because a lot of the media would like to gloss over it and say, oh, these are peaceful protesters. These are not peaceful protesters. And I'm very happy that we are finally talking about this and, and getting the facts out there to the American people. Okay, let's show the video that played in yesterday's hearings uh, that CNN's Tapper took offense with. Let's watch it. Mostly a protest. Uh, it is not. Uh, it is not generally speaking unruly. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful demonstrators. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful protests. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful protests. Peaceful protests and demonstrations. Okay. Uh, they're not. So here's here's the argument: is that they're starting out peaceful, but then morph into riots. But that's kind of splitting hairs. I mean, the video speaks for itself. You have two reporters in the video, you know, standing in front of buildings on fire. Go ahead, Laura. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's almost shocking that they can stand there with a, a straight face and actually lie to the American people about what they're witnessing directly behind them, Liz, to your point. It's, I mean, you can see buildings on fire and total chaos happening, and yet you have reporters saying, well, these are mostly peaceful protests. Uh, I think what is very clearly happening is that it's being exposed every single day that by and large, the mainstream media is the marketing arm for the Democrat Party. These Democrat mayors and governors in, again, some of our great American cities and states all across this country have not done their jobs. They have not protected their citizens. They have not protected businesses within their area. And it's really sad to see, but this is all a political tool for them. And they are trying to just, oh, look over here. There's nothing to see here. That is not right. What we need to do is we need to fix what is happening in these cities. People are leaving, Liz, these cities. I live in New York. I can't tell you the number of friends of mine that have left New York forever. They are never coming back because nobody wants to live like this. We want to know that we're safe. We want to know that we live in, in a peaceful environment. Yep. And unfortunately, you don't see that happening out there. You know, it was CNN's Don Lemon who's saying it's peaceful. Also, Chris Cuomo repeatedly said they are peaceful protests. He's, Chris Cuomo said, quote, please show me where it says protesters are supposed to be polite and peaceful when it says that in the First Amendment. I want to show the viewer right. what the rioters are bringing uh, to the Portland protests and rioting. Uh, as we noted before, it's sledgehammers. It's also tas tasers. It's also lasers and more. Let's show the viewer what they're bringing uh, baseball bats to these riots. Do peaceful protesters destroy businesses, injure 188 officers, attack civilians, and bomb and burn down federal courthouses and buildings. You know, are Democrats so rattled that the riots will hurt Joe Biden's chances of winning, that they're denying and ignoring the destruction and the violence? 18 people have been killed in rioting since the riots began. Laura, your take. Yeah, well, they are denying it. And in fact, uh, you heard from Jerry Nadler, uh, if anybody saw the video of him, saying very clearly that Antifa is, it's a myth. That's not real. And, Antifa is the reason that so many of our great cities are burning, that so much chaos is happening, the violence is happening. And whenever you have major figures in American politics saying that these, these people don't exist, that is a real problem. And, and I think they know that what people are catching on to is that if, if Joe Biden got elected, this would not just be limited to the Democrat cities. This would be all over the United States of America because he has very clearly said that he would like to take away funding from our police forces in this country. We know he's for open borders. So you're going to have open borders, a lawless society, and no police officers to keep the peace in Joe Biden's America. They know that people are catching on to that, so they're trying to deny the whole thing and get you to look the other way. Laura Trump, thanks for joining us. Great to see you. Thank you.